Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, you're watching Horizon Rover, today is Monday 1st of August and this video is about today's daily challenges and Madame Nazar location in Red Dead Online. So Madame Nazar is at this location and the list of challenges for today is the next one. General challenges, one belt buckle updated. You can do it in many different ways, for example you can swap your outfit while you're sitting on your horse if you have any uh, saved outfits in your saddlebags, then you can do that uh, by Madame Nazar when you're buying the buckle or just uh, put on the buckle you owned already also in the wardrobes in your camp, at the tailors or in the general stores next daily challenge is two boar skinned all the locations I'll show after the list of challenges five chicken skinned three complimentary snacks eaten at the saloon for that we can visit for example saloon in valentine and eat pickled eggs or almonds on the side and also well, let's check if almonds in the munchen shack will count towards this daily challenge so if we're gonna go down to the bar in your munchen shack or someone else's munchen shack we will be able to find some almonds on the side of the bar. So let's see if they will be counted towards the daily challenge. Yes, they are. So you can complete the daily challenge in the Munchen Shack bar. And there's another bowl of almonds on the other side. Next challenge is five non player enemies lasted from Wolfsburg. Obviously, lasso all. NPCs who are red dots on the minimap, that means they're hostile and you have to do that with five of them. For example, that could be Loman or the Lobos. Three play kills with a rifle in showdowns, for that join showdowns and use the rifle like a Carcano rifle or bolt action rifle for example to kill three players in the showdowns. To make sure that your kills are counted in the showdowns for the daily challenge you have to start from the pre-match lobby. If the showdown already running when you joined, your kills won't be counted towards the daily challenge. Once Sadie Adler mission is completed, Sadie Adler you'll find to the north from Colter, so you have to fast travel to Colter and then head to this location. It says Jake Adler, but Sadie is also there. For the bounty hunter we got two bounties brought in from West Elizabeth posters, one bounty hunt completed with 5 minutes on the left, three eagle eye used to track a bounty target. For the trader, 15,838 feet distance delivery wagon trout on a mission, six perfect carcasses donated to Crips and two resupply missions completed. For the collector, three arrowheads found, three collectibles found with a shovel and three collector maps used for the motioner, 4,827 feet distance motion wagon trial on a mission, $200 made from motion salt and two motion bar drunk in play interaction which you can complete with the motion shack's door by the way let's do that now just in case if you didn't see that before so we have to go to the motion shack's door and press triangle to enter and after pressing the triangle to enter we have to start pressing very quickly circle button and the gap between triangle and circle button should be as short as possible. If it will be too slow, then uh, that won't work for the daily challenge, but you can go outside always and repeat again. Sometimes I have to do that like five times, but this time it works from the first attempt and that's my second attempt and it will work as well. So as you can see, it's easy to complete a lot. Next daily challenge is for the naturist. Five animal samples taken within 10 minutes, two hydrotonics used when too hot or cold. You can do that in colder when you're going to Sadie, for example. Three mountain grass and animal samples taken. On that, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And now all the locations. Chickens you will be able to find, for example, by the Lagra fast trial around this area. As soon as you're gonna fast trial there, just check around. Then you will be able to find them in Valentine, sometimes at this location here. Then in Fort Wallace, but there are not so many of them. Also, there are some chickens by 
Mama's Watson's house in that little chicken pen here. There's some more by roads as well, but I would recommend you to go to the Rod's Keller Fork. Usually there are many chickens around here. And on that, thanks for watching again and see you next time.